Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you are having a great week so far and I hope you are enjoying not being shut down, right? I mean, that was, it was looking pretty bad last week, but thankfully we got some new good news on the, on the coronavirus and, and, some, and some good numbers that uh, show that, hey, we, we may be plateauing on new cases. We're not out of the woods yet, but things, you know, the craziness may start to be slowing down. And that's because if you, if you go outside, everyone's wearing masks. And that's uh, proven to be real effective. So much so that there's a new report out from the CDC saying that the most effective weapon we could have against the coronavirus isn't a vaccine or shutdowns, it's wearing a mask. And in Texas, we're really starting to prove that. All right, let's take a look at some of the numbers and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So for a while, we were averaging around 10,000 cases a day and yesterday we almost hit 10,000 10, cases, which is obviously not good. But over the last couple days, we've kind of been down a little bit. We had a couple days of 7,000, uh, a day of 9,000. So definitely not out of the woods yet. I mean, that's still a lot of cases, but instead of shooting up and, and spiking even more, they're starting to go back down, which is awesome. Also, the positivity rate of these cases is going down. Uh, we were almost at uh, you know 18% at one point. Uh, we were averaging around 16% and now we're down to 14%, which is not, again, is awesome. I mean, that means that we're doing a lot of testing and we're getting less positives back. So that's, these are both really good things. So the hospital numbers themselves are still, still pretty alarming. Uh, in Austin, we have 460 hospital beds available with only 67 ICU beds. So we're about 85% full. So in Austin, we're actually looking a little bit worse, but um, with the new cases here, we're hopefully we're, we're getting to a plateau. In Dallas, they're looking a tiny little bit better with uh, 2,500 hospital beds available, 337 ICU beds, and they're about 82% full. Down in Houston, which uh, has been the hardest hit part of the state and was trending towards you know going over 90% full, they've got around 1,500 hospital beds available, 98 ICU beds available, and are around 87% full. I believe on my last update, they were at 88, so they've actually gone down a little bit, which is, again, awesome. In the other city on our list, San Antonio has around 630 hospital beds available with 78 ICU beds, and they're about 87% full. And again, this is another city that last week, I believe they were at 88% full. So they've gone down a little bit, which is really, really good news. On the bad news side, we have hit an unfortunate milestone here in Texas in that we've lost 4,300 Texans. Um, a thousand of those that, that passed away were in the last 10 days. So um, that number is probably going to be going up since we have so many folks uh, getting sick now. Um, so that's, you know, that, that's the bad news here. So we're definitely not out of the woods yet, but what we're hoping is that, you know, we've, we've plateaued on some of these new cases. So um, if you're not familiar, it takes around two weeks if you, if you get infected um, to the point to where you're actually gonna need to be in a hospital. So the numbers we're looking at now, um, we still haven't seen that, like that wave show up in hospitals. So there's a, there's a worry that things could get worse before they get better, but, but hopefully, hopefully we've seen maybe some of the worst of the new infections. And that's what they're saying here in Austin. Uh, Dr. Escott, who's been in charge of trying to, to manage the coronavirus here in the, in the capital of Texas, says that the numbers have plateaued for a bit and we appear to be on a downward trend, which, you know, we we're, we're still have a lot of folks in the hospital, but that's good news. Um, that could mean some of these mask orders are working. And that's great if you're here in Austin. We might even be getting bars back soon. Well, at least the patio. And this makes a lot of sense, right? So one of the things with the, the previous shutdown orders that we've had is that we didn't know enough about the virus to really do them effectively. Now that we've learned more, we know that it spreads through uh, you know, close contact without a whole lot of ventilation. So doing anything in out, uh, inside is, uh, is, is a little dangerous if you're inside and in closed space, especially in Texas with the AC on when it's being 100 degrees outside, it might be a little dicey. Um, and so it's good that we're starting to use some science on how we make some of these decisions here. So in Austin, that might not be ideal here in Texas. I mean, it is like 100,000 million degrees outside, but hey, at this point, I'll take uh, drinking a beer outside on a patio over not having bars open in general. All right, so that's your update on what's going on with the coronavirus here in Texas. 
Hopefully you're staying safe and, and keeping your mask on. Um, hopefully, you know, there, there's some research out there that say that if we uh, wear a mask for, you know, the next month or two, then maybe we can finally put all of this behind us. I'm not willing to go that far, but definitely wearing a mask is really making a big impact here in Texas. So, so keep those masks on and I'll check back in in, uh, in a couple days with another update. Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you so much for watching Citizen Pete. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, click that little subscribe button, maybe the like button, and hey, maybe, maybe just leave a comment. You know, I wanna know what you're thinking. What do you think about all the politics and news and all the stuff that's going on in our country?